understanding the difference between mercy and consequence. You know, at times people mix this together. Let's say as a young lady, you go to have sex, you fornicate, and you get pregnant in the process. Then afterwards, you became convicted and you repent of your sin. Do you know as soon as you repent, God forgives you? You are made brand new in Jesus. But you have a baby growing up in your womb. You will have to carry that baby. You will have to go through what women go through when they are pregnant. That is consequence. That is not mercy. It doesn't mean God is not showing you mercy. That does not mean God has not forgiven you. It is consequence. Now, a married woman will go through it together with her husband. But you are going to go through it alone. It's going to be tough. Imagine when you go for antenatal and they're asking, where's your husband? You feel shameful. You feel depressed. It's not God punishing you. It's a consequence. Sin has consequence. You must recognize that. If God says to you as a woman, don't marry a man that is given to anger. Don't marry a man that is worldly. Don't marry a man that is not born again. And you go ahead and marry the man. You now realize in marriage you have made a terrible mistake. You now say, Lord, forgive me. Instantly you are forgiven. Jesus will spread his blood over your life. And you will be made brand new. But that man is not born again. He will continue to treat you as a man that is not born again. It is you now that will have to respond as a woman that is born again. You cannot now say because this man is maltreating you, does it mean God has not forgiven you? He has forgiven you, but there is consequence. So, brethren, there is consequence to disobedience that has nothing to do with God forgiving you or not forgiving you. If you write, for example, on your international passport, if you were born in 1979 and you claim to be born in 1975, and later on you now became born again and you repented of your sin, Jesus will forgive you. But if you continue to present that passport without wrong date of birth, it means you are now lying afresh. So you have to go and fix it. It's consequence. Doesn't mean God has not forgiven you. You cannot continue to live in sin. The Bible says, can we continue to live in sin that grace may abound? No. So please understand this because people will say, are you saying that the person cannot be redeemed? I, no, the person is redeemed. But you can't be redeemed and continue in sin. And then there are things you have done that has consequence that you will just have to bear with it. That's why God warned us seriously against sin, and Jesus died so that we do not sin. God bless you.